It's the next day and I managed to do a little bit of quilting on my quilt last night. <laughs> uh, well, let's just say it went okay, but uh, the patterns I digitized uh, were uh, didn't fit most of the petals. I actually did probably four or five of the petals with the patterns I created, but I had to modify them just to get them to fit. And then the other ones I ended up doing freehand. And um, so I'll show you a little bit, a couple of videos maybe of how I uh, got the patterns to fit. I think next time I do this, I'm just gonna take one of the panels and put it on a light box, trace around each, each petal and uh, scan that into my computer and use that as the outline of the petals because I really missed some of the small petals. I guess I couldn't see it with the resolution that I had for the image. And I missed uh, the shape of the petals. <laughs> I had all kinds of problems anyway. It's still gonna turn out, I still can fix it. It's not like the end of the world. I didn't waste my time. So I think it'll be fine. I'll show you some pictures of the quilting I already did. And um, also a couple of videos, like I said, of how I managed to fix my mistakes. I'm starting on my poinsettia quilt and I can already see that I'm going to have some problems with my digitized patterns. Like I said, uh, I had to digitize off of photo even though the photo was pretty clear. I had to take down the resolution in order to bring it into Art and & Stitch and I just didn't guess very well. So I was going to start with this, this little guy right here and he's pretty small. I mean, can see it on my hand. And that was the design I had digitized for it. And obviously it's not even close to the same shape. And this is so small that this would look terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this one by hand. And then we'll try the next one. Here's the quilting I did last night in the middle of the poinsettia and some of them I used the quilting patterns I, I created and some of them I didn't. The quilting patterns I created were way off uh, in most cases because I couldn't see, I couldn't see like the, the small um, petals right here or this one. This one was uh, too densely quilted for the size and there was all kinds of problems. This one, I thought it went this way instead of this little jog. So there was numerous problems. This one I freehand, this one, and this one. And then these, I adapted the patterns I already created and made them work. Uh, it took me a little bit, but I somehow got it to work. Now, I think as I get further along, and I get uh, to the bigger petals, it might be easier because I think I, I could see those better on the on the uh, image that I was digitizing off of. So we'll see. Okay, here I am in my software for my Gamel. It's uh, called Creative Studio. And I created this boundary around the poinsettia leaf that I have. And this is the digitized uh, pattern that I created. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. And you can see it doesn't quite fit. This one actually is probably better than the other ones I did. Uh, this one actually is at least in the shape of the petal. The other ones weren't. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify this a little bit. Um, I think I want to stretch it a little bit this way. Maybe like that. And then I'm going to take this outside border off. There we go. As long as it's kind of
within there. I can take this outside border off and then just quilt the inside. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to bring up my nodes and try to remember how I digitized this. I'm going to come way down here and break it right here. And you can tell the one with the node still on is uh, the outside border. So I'm just going to hit my delete key. And there we go. And all I need to do is adjust the nodes down here a little bit. So these little green handles are the curves and the pink nodes are the lines. And we can kind of move a combination of both of them to get what we want. No, no, there's not a good way to select all of them at the same time. So it's harder to move the whole line. All right. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna to try to get this on camera the best I can. I don't have the best lighting around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start quilting. See how well I did. Here's the next petal I'm going to do and I already have it outlined and I drew the boundary already with my long arm and I'll show you how I'm going to fix the, the next petal pattern. So here's the outline for my petal I just showed you and I'm going to try my next pattern and here it is. Zoom out a little bit. And let's try to rotate it, let's see if we can get it to fit. This one isn't too bad. Like I said, I think uh, the ones um, with the bigger petals were easier for me to see. And this one's pretty close, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's probably going to work. I just need to modify it just a tiny bit. Okay, we're ready to stitch this pattern out. Just gonna pull up the bobbin thread real quick. So my machine thinks I broke the thread, which I actually did. And so I just need to fix it real quick. Sometimes it thinks it, it broke the thread and it hasn't. And now it has done, it has done that to me ever since I got it. All right, I'm just gonna press auto start and see where it wants to start. And I think I wanna start just a tad bit back. So I'm gonna use that point and Click quilt. And um, I want to cut the bottom thread that's still attached under there, but not both of them coming out of there. So I slowed the machine down just a little bit. And I can see that it's uh, just broke the thread again. Thank you. 
I rolled the quilt up so I could take a look at the back and see how things are going. The stitches look okay. Um, there was a little bit of bunching where I had my thread breaks and I had to fix it, but it's not too bad. Um, it's looking pretty good. Go around to this side. And of course you can't really see much of the quilting on the white as much as on the green panel. But I, th I still think it looks good. I got a little bit more bunching right here. I can cut some of those threads off. Um, overall, it looks pretty good. Well, I'm still plagued with thread breaks and skip stitches. You can see one right there. And it really did a terrible job over here. So I have to fix those. And what I'm gonna do is drop the belts and I'll probably draw where I need to be on this one and then stitch over it. And we'll see about this one. Okay, I went back and fixed the stitches. So I had a skip stitch here and you can't even see where I repaired it. And then of course I fixed it right here. I had to take it all out and stitch this by hand. And when it's dry, I used a blue marker to make sure I was following where I needed to be. And when it's dry, you won't be able to see it. You can kind of see a little bit of thread build up right here, but when the quilt is all done, you're not gonna be able to see it. How do I look? Do I look stressed? Well, I've had a very stressful day. So things didn't work out quite like I thought it was going to. Uh, first of all, I kept having thread problems all day. One of my patterns wouldn't stitch out at all. I finally got it to stitch out after I took it out, I don't know, four times. I probably worked on it two hours, just one petal. So I thought maybe the white Backing was causing my my thread problems, but I think it actually was my panel on the back. I don't know. I changed the needle. I changed the thread. I I did all kinds of stuff. I still could not get it to work. I barely got it to work enough that I could go over it and take out all the the skip stitches and go back over it um, freehand. So yeah. It's been one of those days, but I got all but one petal done on in on the center, and I started to do this last petal. But I used a fill when I created the pattern for it, and there is a lot of overstitching. And I don't know. I think I might redo it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just do something freehand. I don't know. It's gonna to have to wait till tomorrow because I'm not doing it tonight. Uh, it's like, um, I don't know, I think it's 6.30 here. I started maybe 9.30, 10 o'clock today. So I've been working on it for a long time. Thanks.